Hello guys, this is Obiechina Vivian at Obiechina Vivian's Kitchen. So today we'll be making vegetable soup. And there is actually a little story behind this soup. So what happened was that I started making this soup at around um, 8 p.m. or so. So during the process, I noticed that the gas finished. So all effort to get a gas at that time proved abortive. So I had to go look for um, an alternative, which was to get a, a electric cook electric cooker. So we got the electric cooker, and this was it. You can see that I just don't want to display the the brand. But this electric cooker actually took like almost four hours to boil this particular meat we are seeing here. It is actually a uh, goat meat, tozo meat, that is cow meat, that is some part of cow meat, or more and stockfish. It took almost four hours for the electric cooker to boil this. And it was actually very difficult because this was the soup I was supposed to make under like 10 minutes. That is apart from boiling the meat. Now because of the electric cooker, I couldn't do that. So I managed to heat the oil to fry the water leaf to so some extent. At this point, it was already around 2 or 8 a.m. in the morning. So I had to fry the water leaf, then preserve it in the fridge, which I continued cooking the next day. So you're just going to see how this works. This is a um, pepper mix that is yellow pepper, red pepper, and uh, onions blended together. So this was supposed to fry like very fast, but then because the gas, uh, the electric cooker wasn't, um, it wasn't good enough. But then I returned it the next day because there was no way I was keeping this type of thing. That I couldn't even buy water for me or even buy meat. So this was still around 2 or 8 a.m. in the night. I had to manage to fry this because I had already washed it. And there was no way I could leave it to the next day without frying it a bit so that it doesn't spoil. So this was able to fry a little. Just a little. The water wasn't draining. It was even... But I really struggled with this. But this was all I could do. You could see how this changed. So I put it in the freezer and continued cooking the next day. When I got the uh, the cylinders filled up with gas, so this was where the color changed this way, but it doesn't, it didn't prevent it from tasting nice and good. So let's continue. This is well fried now, and I smash the water leave a little. See, it's boiling very fast now. They were adding a meat stock, which I also boiled in the morning. I actually put everything in the freezer. Put everything in the freezer at night. So, let's see how it goes from here. And you have to be careful with your water when you are cooking your vegetable. But here I still added a little bit more because we still have our ugu leaf left. So this has boiled very well. We are adding extra salt and seasoning to taste because we just started cooking this crayfish. Then you turn and allow it to boil for some time <coughs> before adding any other thing to it. I allow it to cook at this time. Little white has boiled. This is Kitchen Glory. I normally use this to make food. 
especially soup then the hunger for soup I use this small one because I don't want the taste to deviate from what I wanted it to do. I just added a little smaller sachet of it. There are big sachets, even container, but this was okay. This was when I tested it to check if it was lacking anything. And it tested very fine. So we are adding another stock stock from the meat we boiled earlier so that the water will be enough for us to add the vegetable just a minute more then it's okay for us to add the vegetable this is um smoked fish at this point it's just to add more flavor to the food not necessarily for eating, just for the flavor, to add more flavor to the soup. Yeah, smoked fish. It's actually very expensive these days. I got this little thing I've seen here at 2500 at Abuja Market. So, adding our ugu leaf now, because the soup is practically done. And please, when you add your ugu leaf, you cover it for like a minute. It shouldn't be more than that. And allow it to steam. After it steam, you stir, and your food is ready to serve. So we are still adding the vegetable. After which we are going to cover it and allow it to steam for a minute. And some people at this point they add a thickener. For me, I didn't think it was necessary to do so because after cooking this, just give it like five minutes to settle and your soup will come together. So putting adding a thickener or like starch anything. We just deviate the dish. I always like that with so water inside the soup so it doesn't look so gummy. So this is actually how I like my vegetable. A little bit of water inside while it stays delicious. So here we are serving. You see how it came out. Very nice, very cute, very demure, very cute. So you see how it came out. Yeah watch the final look so guys what do you think at this point please like share and subscribe thank you for watching and god bless you